Hey folks, Quilletine here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play European of Styles 4, Ohm Style. We are we're currently in a bit of a holding pattern here as we wait for a little bit of aggressive, aggressive expansion to burn off, and we're going to try to find some targets for our um, loving embrace of um, annexation, diplomatically. I wonder, like, Maine over here. Mm, distance between borders, that's too bad. You could so be a target otherwise. You're already part of France. Yeah, you know, it would have been interesting with Genoa over here. No, too much hate. Corsica? Distance between borders is going to be too much. Thuringia, you do hate me right now. Outraged. Distance between borders. Member of the Empire. Mainz is an elector. Wait. Oh, wrong person. They would totally do it if we could get friends. You know, we might work on this sort of stuff. We could royal marry them as well and just flip everything with Ansbach over here. Uh, we have... Oh, right. The allied to rival. Hmm. Wait, who's your rival? Wurzburg. I'm starting to wonder if we want to get rid of Wurzburg. And over here. Aggressive expansion. And they want all my stuff for no reason. But if we made them stop being outraged, we might be okay. Claim Koblenz, which is the over here. Let's just try to improve our prestige again. Um, admin tech? Oh, yeah. 5% discount. I don't see any reason why not. Open up some new buildings. We should look at some more buildings, actually. I will gain prestige. I actually have a mission for that. Please and thank you. And a new decision. No reason not to take the Act of Uniformity. Um, I don't like the Suffraging Bishop Act. I don't care about the cheaper stability cost. And I don't want to lower my taxes. So I'm going to deselect that one. Uh, improving relations in Maine. Well, we don't have to do that anymore. <clears throat> so before we marry anyone... Let's go ahead and improve relations with both these people. Oh, we can't we can't royal marry the Archbishopric, which will make it almost impossible to get to plus 190 with them. Hang on, we'll stop that. Royal Mary Burgundy? Sure, it's interesting they keep asking, even though we don't have an actual... Um, um, like, we don't have an alliance or anything. But they were like, well, we were married that one time. Wasn't that fun? Sure, left a coalition against us. Wasn't that swell? Well, these guys would be willing to do it because of the uh, they feel threatened. Hmm. They hate us, so they can't uh, ally us. But we could change that around. How much do they hate us? A E, allied to rival, have a claim. Allied to rival can go away at some point. You know what? We're going to make friends with Ansbach. They'll feel better. They'll be protected. And yeah, we're we're going to try to minimize our, our general aggression levels. Oh yeah, you're an elector, so you're never an option. You're an elector. You're outraged. But other than that, we could probably work on you as well. Alsace. Oligarchic Republic. Which means we can't royal marry. Ah! All these crazy government types. That's probably going to be impossible unless we bribe you hugely or something else goes along. Excellent. More people leaving the coalition. That's always nice. An alliance over here. Plus it'll protect them, so only we get to eat them up later on. We'll fully improve relations. Um, and yeah, we can consider Wurzburg, since we can't royal marry them, and... Well, I might be able to vassalize them at some point. That would be a way to get around some of these problems. Let's consider that. Let's go ahead and get the regimental system. Cheaper land maintenance, which is quite good. Our royal marriage with Austria went away. Let's get a new one. Um, we'll have to cancel this guy in Wurzburg. Royal Mary Austria. Send him back to Wurzburg. All right, we are going at speed four because... There we go, left the coalition... Royal marriage, um, just because we just have to do a lot of waiting right now. It's not going to be a game where we paint the entire map, Wurzburg, or um, Omium, black. 
Uh, probably you could, you know, if you're a better player than me, but I'm not that good. Diplomatic technology, I assume new, see no reason to not take this. Oh, that's our embassy tech. That's good. We do have to uh, save a lot of money before we can do that. We're making a bit more. We do have a 10% discount, plus we're just not paying much. I guess I can drop this all the way down. There we go. Thank you for leaving the coalition, everyone. Election. Um, we are capped on Republican tradition, so there's no reason not to keep our current dude around. Some truces have just expired. And yeah, if I'm going to do anything, I think it'll be towards Savoy. I don't have a diplomat available. So I can't fabricate a claim yet, but soon. There we go, Savoy. Actually, it would have been something to declare then, because it would have brought Savoy and a few other people in a manageable coalition size. Um, I'm not sure that we're making enough trade for this to really make enough money for us. I do like the 50 Diplo power, don't get me wrong. But if we grab the ducats now... Um, it gets us closer to the embassy, which is ultimately going to be really important for us. Like, we're already capped on our diplomatic uh, relationships. Um, Burgundy, 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 Burgundy. You won't ally with me. Oh, because you're allied to all the wrong people. All right, that's fine. I'll keep the royal marriage up. We might get lucky and, um, you know, get our um, get our dynasty somewhere. Something like that could happen. Burgundy's, I, I don't remember exactly how the event rules work, but there's always a possibility that Burgundy will just die without an heir and someone will inherit it. And I don't know, it could be me. Probably not. There's some, I don't know what the rules are, but they, it's probably not me. Do, 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 do. So still going around at speed four. And yeah, just burning off some AE, building up these relationships. It will, there we go. Now that Savoy is out though, Brittany Ferrer, the Papal State. None of that is really a problem. We really won't we'll want to do something. Wurzburg, that's good enough. We can't really get you that high. Because we can't royal marry you. Let's see. We get up 25 from giving them the gift. They can do the, uh, they'll do the transfer trade power thing. I should actually check a lot of those. There we go. Good. Recall that. You would transfer trade power as well. They're like, I'll give you trade power. You won't attack me, right? We'll be besties. So I could feed the money back. I can't believe how high we've gotten with Onsbach, and that's despite the fact we still have a lot of negative modifiers with them. Um, they desire less stuff now, which is good. So we are, um, we're 70 off. We can get 25 with a big gift. We can get, I can't remember if you send them subsidies, how high it can get. Uh, maybe I can check this. Uh, U4 subsidies. I mean, it grows over time. I just don't remember what the cap is. Subsidies. That doesn't help. Um, uh, relations. Subsidies. It caps at plus 15. Okay. So that's 40 points from just giving them money. So I think it's a little too early to do it. Um, then 25 from the AE burning off. If the claim goes away, if our claim on Onsbach goes away, which will take too long, that will help, or if any reason we break our alliance here. And what about Wurzburg? What can we do over here? If we burn off the AE, that would bring us to about 140. Allied to rival. So do you guys rival each other? Is that it? Shit. It's really inconvenient. This one's way easier, although we can't royal marry them. Anywho, let's take a look over here. Now, we don't have a CB right now, right? And right now, not many people would help. France would help, though, which is good. Let's go ahead, even though we'll get a little bit of aggressive expansion if we get caught, let's go ahead and fabricate a claim on Wallace and give that a go. We'll come back to things. Uh, I don't have, like, a spy dude, do I? Ew, it's too expensive. Never mind. What's the next idea here? We've got regimental system. Next one is the fort defense. Reinforcement speed, which, you know, not terribly critical. I still think it's fine that we went defensive. The attrition for enemies will be fun later on. Yeah, we're going to figure something out here. I mean, as soon as I uh, vassalize one, I think it will clear the, the rival status. I don't think you can be rivaled to a vassal. I'm not sure. I might be wrong. Hmm. 
Hmm. Defended our territory. Cool, look at that. Annex a member of the HRE. I mean, those are all modifiers that can go away. Oh, we haven't even capped or improved relations here, either. Here, let's do a little of that. That'll be fine. dun 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 in Augsburg, Archbishop Frick, so we can't marry you. You might become less douchey if I improve uh, relations with you. Mainz has left the coalition. Excellent. I mean, we'll still be playing by with fire if we take more territory over here, but it'll be less burny than if we go north. Plus, it'll give us coastal access. Um, and potentially, we could move our, um, our center of trade down into this node which will maybe have more ability to influence. Because right now, we're actually kind of split up between um, between three different nodes. Our capital is in Vienna. But we own some territory in Venice and some territory over here. You know what I can do? I can pull my trader out of uh, Vienna because I'm automatically collecting there and do one of those. I haven't... Uh, what do we have here? Last month is two point. We'll actually get less income this time. Uh, it hasn't updated yet to show that I've got a merchant in, in Rhineland. Uh, I'll take the stability this time, actually. Because I don't want to go into huge negativity. Ah! It went up, because it was 2.46 or something like that. And uh, we're getting more? Something like that, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, we're getting 0.6 from Rhineland. Quite a bit more than we're getting in Venice. I guess because we have more land over there. Um, and it might, we might want to start building various trade-oriented buildings at some point, but not yet. Women in war with? Right. I forgot about that. Let's go ahead and bring up our army maintenance. Let's move up to the borders over here. <laughs> Let that tick up. We are at our limit. We have an acceptable general. He's far from great, but he's okay, given the fact that we don't have much tradition. They've got 13. I mean, we can declare, move into Wallace right away. They won't be able to touch us, depending on how many allies they've got, but I don't think so, especially in the mountains here. Um, we'll capture that, which will be the war goal. They actually have to deal with their rebels here. If we can jump on them just after they fight the rebels, that would be the best. Now, they're weary about attacking them, because I think they're in the mountains. And they're not that far off, but still, that is... Uh, that's pretty crazy, actually. What does Genoa own? Why aren't they at 99% or 100%? That's a core. Actually, I don't know. I don't know why they're not... Um... <clears throat> they're things they consider to be... They have claims and cores and stuff on. Oh, there we go, because they own this province here, which is why Milan can't get 100% unless they drop some troops over there, and they may be unwilling to do it. And this is the capital, so they can't just claim it. Yeah, this is awkward. Milan might have to settle for something else. I mean, I definitely can't build any boats to go over there, obviously, because I have no coastal access. I can't build boats anywhere. Mm-hmm. We are going to recall our Wurzburgian diplomat. So yeah, so once the eliminate the AE, that brings us to 162. Actually, a bribe, I could get them. I could get them, uh, I could vassalize them. Or not. They're too far. Well, I don't have the military power. These guys would call for peace. I'm getting called for peace, that's great. I'm not the war leader or anything, right? So, I mean, I could, I could wipe peace out, which would upset Milan a bit. But I, I have to. I can't build freaking um, war exhaustion right now. That would be silly. Okay. My guys are fully buffed. Yeah, Milan won't jump in. Well, they might have not jumped in anyway, actually, because they were in another war. I'm not sure. Uh, Wurzburg will jump in. Sure, fine. France, sure, fine. Um, France can mostly fight Brittany. Um, I should be okay here. Wurzburg doesn't have much of an army. We'll just be sitting in the mountains, though. And I think we're going to be okay. Let's declare that war. I'm just going to move these guys here and actually one more cannon. 
going to be four cannons in there. I might be able to bait them to an attack, and even if it doesn't... Oh, yeah, and I've got France. Derp. Um, even if it doesn't, they... Um, I don't know. They'll still be able to siege well. Something. I don't know. Words. Do I get there first? No, that's too bad. If they attack me in Waldstadt, that'd be okay. But yeah, I should have moved my troops in burn. Or I should move these guys here, you know, one way or another. This guy doesn't have siege, right? No. Mm-hmm. Because I wouldn't want to attack them in the mountains or anything. France, do your thing. Yeah, you're going to siege up Brittany, which is okay. Ferrera's going to send some troops over this way. Tell you what, let's move everyone into Wallace, actually, because I'm a little concerned. Uh, or not. Bring it, punk. Or that. All right, sure, we'll attack them in the mountains. I'm actually going to release that siege. Because they are fighting in the mountains. We want to make sure we've got an overwhelming amount of dudes. Um, one year of national unrest. Actually, I'm okay with that. We can we can eat that. And be perfectly fine. They are losing much more people. Which is good. And they shouldn't run far. I think they will stay within their borders here. So I think we can stack wipe them. They might just go to Savoy itself. Or... They're going to Waldstadt, which probably means that'll be their final destination. Why wouldn't they go to friendly territory? Oh, 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 no, they're going to uh, Ferrarin territory. Down here. Alright, well, I don't want to chase them. I'll just move. Oh, this is grassland. I'll tell you what, I will move into Savoy itself. Take the war goal, take the capital, both in the mountains, so if they want to come and attack me there, they're going to have a hard time. Wow, I could actually take Defender of the Faith. No, I'm saving up for an embassy. How much do I get from loans? 43. Okay. Certainly not taking out loans to get an embassy at this point. That would be crazy. I can't build a march, can I? No, it's tech 10. Okay. Definitely want to build it as soon as I get a chance. France, if you want to go chase those guys down, feel free. France is actually unseaging these uh, pretender rebels, which is entertaining. I mean, I guess we're going to have to siege all that stuff at some point. I suppose I can split this stack and go to Vo. I'll have to be I'll have to be ready to respond if they show up there, because this is grasslands. But I should get plenty of vision, actually, because if they come from anywhere, they could come here and then wrap around, or they're gonna have to go through the rest of my troops. So this should be perfectly safe. Worst case scenario, it Austria, are you who are you at war with? What why are you here, Austria? That makes no sense. I don't know what you're trying to accomplish. You got lost, man. Anyway, yeah, all that to say, these troops should be perfectly safe, and if they want to come this way, they got to attack me through the mountains, um, and maybe clear out their own rebels. So, there we go. See, so we're doing a favor by desieging that. Now, this Savoy will have a huge tax base. Um, wow, not as big as I thought, actually. I'm going to have to make sure to take enough provinces so that I can vassalize them next time. Hopefully that's just one, it might be two. Um... Yeah, these only have a base tax of three. And so their expensive ones are down here. I thought... Ah, there. 11 in Piedmont and 11 here as well. And there's the attack that I wasn't paying attention to. Although France is right nearby. Let's start the move. Yeah, attack me in the mountains. That would be much, much more preferable. Please. When are you going to arrive? In the 26th? Okay, good. On the 25th, I start my move back there. France might still interfere, or, you know, assist, is what I meant to say. Um, I'm going to move the whole stack. Break that siege. It's worth it. <laughs> they got the river crossing as well as the mountain penalty, so they're going to get trounced. Look at this. We're losing like three, five dudes. They're losing hundreds. All right, that's a little bit more. But still, we should slaughter them completely. We've got the better morale, discipline. They have a lot more tactics. Same tech level, so they've got some other idea or something like that. What, what's giving them that? Defensive idea? No. Administrative ideas? How come their tactics are so good? I do not know. Split you in half. Move you down there. Go back up to the speed four. Just Liege has ended. Um, curious, Milan, are you still? You're still in your war with Genoa. That'll probably never end. 
Well, you'll, you'll peace out for, like, money. You're not, you're not going to take Ligoria. But it's interesting. If ever I wanted to eat Genoa, it would be possible so long as I... Yeah, you're going to end up in one of my territories, aren't you? You're going to end up right here. Nope. Um, so long as I had a coastal province over here. There we go. More people leaving that. Alternatively, it might be possible for me to make friends with Genoa. Yeah, we are allied to rivals, and of course we can't get a royal marriage or anything. That will make things harder. But it's conceivable. Still going to save a little bit of money that way. Speaking of money, how am I doing? Just $1 per month. So really not rolling in the dough. Oh, there we go. They're finally going to wipe out those rebels now that they've gone and sieged something. Although France might have a little bit of a hard time. And you Pope. There we go. You're going to desiege that. No, the rebels are still alive. So you'll go hunt them down. Well, fair enough. New technology. Oh, we're not ahead of time with the military. Excellent. More tactics. Fire. All kinds of things. Yes, absolutely. I'm interested in that. Please and thank you. Um, five prestige is nothing compared to the chance of losing a stability. Training fields. Good. Wait, did it say I could build a march? Didn't it say... Oh, it cost 10 points! It cost 10 points. It doesn't need military tech 10. Um, I would like to build that right away. Uh, it would spend all my money, and I'm in the middle of war, but I think it's still worth it. Now, ideally, this would be a pretty sweet spot to build it, because most likely this is going to be an enemy territory for a long time. But the problem is, is it still has really high autonomy. It's the right religion and the right culture, or it's an accepted culture, so we will get all the manpower out of this at some point, but not right now. I think I'm actually going to decrease some of this autonomy. They didn't get a, a recent uprising or anything. Yeah, we've got some positive unrest right now, but it's not that much, so I think we're going to be okay. So, if I built it in Ulm, Ulm only borders Ansbach, which isn't going to be around forever, which means it's a bad spot for it. Where else might be a possibility? We'd actually get even more here, but again, we only border Ansbach. As soon as you stop bordering an enemy, the march goes away and you have to rebuild it. This has got some possibilities in Memogem. It doesn't have quite the same multiplier, because it still has a little bit of autonomy. Um, although, that is going to go away. It borders three nations, including Austria, which Austria is relatively untouchable. Tyrol's a high priority if we ever do take it. Um, I think it's going to be worth building it there. If we have to rebuild it at some point, that's fine. We'll do that. And eventually the autonomy will go away completely, at which point we'll get the full 500 manpower out of that building. Now, France is occupying some of this territory, uh, which is fine. So we don't occupy that. That's rebels. <laughs> well, like, it's pretty funny how uh, everything looks. There we are. Simultaneous sieges. Good. Go and grab that so it counts as our war score. I have no interest in buzzing around down here. We don't need that much war score overall. We'll go and squash that. Sure. Oh, I missed you? Come on. There we go. It's only half a point of war score, but I'll take it. We do have the ticking war, goal, uh, ticking war score in our favor because we control the war goal. So, the question becomes, what are we looking for? Ah, and we've got the capital now, too. So, if I grab these two provinces, if I grab only one, yeah, so I've got to take... That's weird. Why is Vaux taking down the cost of vassalized by 14%, whereas Wallace is only um, 9%? They both have the same tax base. Oh, Vaux has more manpower. Oh, look at that. Now, Wallace is the thing we have the claim on. So, I think what we do is we grab both. I think we grab both. Now, what does that do for aggressive expansion? Uh, Liège and Lorraine were both people who had joined the coalition at some point. And there's a lot of things at the 12 mark. I suspect the coalition will sort of reform. I don't think it'll be too terribly scary. And, of course, Savoy won't be able to join because we have a truce. So I think that's good. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. New Ulm. Oh, okay. It's like, I, for some reason, I thought this was my flag. Still too similar to uh, when I played Sweden. 
Uh, so we'll take those two. We won't give France anything. Hopefully they're okay with that. Um, so now they're going to be small enough for us to vassalize in a future war. Um, we could annul some treaties. Let's see here. You will give me war reparations. All your money. And... Annul your treaties with Ferreira. Because they're more relevant in this war. They were more annoying. All right. Send demand. All right. We'll pull back into this territory. We'll leave them with their rebels. Cheap, cheap coring. Nice. Badenese nationalists might spring up. I'm going to leave my uh, my maintenance up. Uh, where are they going to spawn? Yeah, up there. Trier is no longer a valid rival. So I have to set a new rival and get rid of a costly embargo over here. Interesting. Um, wow. Most of these are not choices I want to make. So I think it's going to be... It's going to be Venice. At least Austria will like me for it. So yeah, we will go ahead and rival Venice. Actually, it would be quite nice if we could take some of their territory. If we could take Brescia or something like that, work our way down here. It'd actually be very appealing. Now, this territory is... Is part of the HRE, but is Savoy? Oh, it is! Oops. All right. My bad. I'm sure there's many comments. I'm sorry. A lot of this got pre-recorded just because I'm sort of on a kick for EU4. Um, there's probably tons of comments letting me know that Savoy is actually part of the HRE, so I'm not actually able to avoid certain problems, but, you know, oh well. That's fine. Burgundy buzzing around. If I put it here, would that be over... No, it wouldn't be over our maintenance. So, yeah, let's put everything in one spot. That's going to be okay. Uh, we're going to do this way. Power's always worth it. So, we still have positive unrest in both those places, but so far we're okay. Um, I see no reason not to grab the diplomatic technology. We still get a discount for it. We're not saving it for anything else. So, we'll go ahead and do that. This level's not too terribly important. But, you know, it's nice to have anyway. There we go. We're still at full maintenance. Let's just double confirm. We are. We've got a good army. Decent composition. There's a lot of rebels. They actually outnumber us. 2-2 two, two, and a 0-2. Well, let's kill the 0-2 first. What's his maneuver? 1. And we have more maneuver than that, so we won't get the river crossing. We'll be fighting in the woods. So we will get a minus 1, which is kind of on the sucky side. Burgundy, are you going to go through these guys? You know you'll have to fight them, right? Okay, you could have, like, waited a day. At least they'll be technically slightly weaker. Not much. But technically their morale is a little bit injured. Okay, we have vastly superior numbers. We have the same tactics, even when you count in the 10% from my discipline, which is crazy sauce. And we lost. Pooh. Complete our march, that's good. Reinforcements will come. Um... Let's go above our force limit for a little while. Oh, Austria's going to come clean that out. Why? Are they... That's actually really unexpected. We're not in a war together. They're literally just deciding to help me clean this up because we're allies. All right, thank you. Are you going to do that one? No. That's okay. I can't expect you to do everything. I appreciate the effort you put in. Mm-hmm. So they'll reset nationalism. They'll add five years, I think, to nationalism is what will happen. So that would be unpleasant. These pretender rebels aren't particularly a problem for Savoy. It just changes their dynasty, I think. So no worries there. France Stronk. Our alliance is good. Oh, we've got a free, some free diplomats kicking around. Why don't we... Um, how are we doing over here? It's pretty close. If my military power got better, they'd be able to swing it. Let's take another look. We still have to worry about the AE, which they got a little bit more of, but not that much. Still have that fought to the end. Allied to rival. We really have to break the alliance one way or another. So if I canceled my alliance with Wurzburg, then this would bring Ansbach to 145. 
We can get 12 more from improved relations, so that's 157. 25 from a gift, that's 177, 182. So if we start to give them some money right now, plus the aggressive expansion is going down, uh, we, can, we can get them to become our vassal. So we will give them some subsidies. So it goes up to a maximum of 15. Wow, how much do we have to give them? So if we do this much, then that'll be 0 0.6 per year. That's actually quite slow. I'm going to get it started anyway. We can't always uh, manually cancel it if we need be. Improve some of this and that just so we have something to do. That, I think that's everything we're building. Still have to wait for a few reinforcement ticks, but we can get into position. This is at least flat ground. The other one was woods, which was not helping things. All right, uh, let's consolidate this. Well, we could wait for another. Um, let's wait for another round of reinforcements at the end of the month. 900 will reach it, and that'll basically empty out our pool. And that's going to be okay. Uh, they might win the siege, which would be really annoying. 7% chance on the next tick. Okay, February 1st, another round of reinforcements just hit. Basically emptying our pool. We'll consolidate what we've got, but yeah, I won't actually eliminate that, so we're still a little over our force limit. But hopefully this will be enough to pull it off. Brittany will transfer trade power to France. Okay, good for them. Well, mostly good for France. And then we'll check our force limit stats here. I think we are over. Yeah, just two. So if we can grab one, two, three and combine those. Now we're at our force limit. Excellent. Okay. Our country should be relatively stable. Obviously, there's a little bit of unrest over here, but that's fine. We are working on those cores, which is good. We're going to try to see if we can't uh, suck up something over here. And uh, other than that, yeah, make sure the AE doesn't get out of control, especially with um, trying to diplomatically do that. We've got the tools for it. We've got, you know, high amount of diplomatic relationship ceiling, which is nice. Um, we could do some of this, hopefully. I think that's the end of the episode. Thanks for watching, folks, and I'll see you next time.